Hello, today we are going to take a look at the top five sulforaphane foods to prevent cancer. Sulforaphane is a powerful phytochemical found mostly in green vegetables and most abundant in cruciferous vegetables. It has powerful antioxidant effects such as cancelling out free radicals. Free radicals are unstable atoms that can damage cells, causing illness and accelerating aging. Research is showing that these antioxidant, antimicrobial, and anti-inflammatory properties have incredible health effects. Cancer is a disease in which some of the body cells grow uncontrollably and spread to other parts of the body. It's a complex process and certain compounds in our foods can inhibit this uncontrollable growth or even kill the cancer cells. This article published in 2018 shows that sulforaphane has a number of chemoprotective properties. Sulforaphane inhibits cancer-causing carcinogens from binding to DNA. In addition, its anti-inflammatory effects is beneficial for cancer prevention because inflammation can play a role in some types of tumor formation. Broccoli sprouts are germinated seeds of the broccoli plant. The young plants are eaten when they're just a few days old. They're usually eaten raw in salads or sandwiches, so their delicate balance of nutrition isn't damaged by cooking. They add a pleasant crunch to foods and make an excellent carrier for sauces and salad dressings. Broccoli sprouts have the highest concentration of sulforaphane. 100 grams of broccoli sprouts contain as much as 1,200 milligrams of sulforaphane, while 100 grams of mature broccoli has 170 milligrams of sulforaphane. There aren't any official dosage recommendations for broccoli sprouts. Since it has such a high concentration of sulforaphane, most studies on it have used about 2 to 4 ounces. I recommend just incorporating some into your salads on a regular basis. You can either sprout your own or buy from supermarkets. I've seen them available in Whole Foods. When sprouting your own, please make sure to follow instructions carefully to prevent contamination. Steph Godreau has a good page with clear instructions on how to sprout and I'll put a link to her page in the description below. Broccoli is a nutritional powerhouse and it is number two on our list as a good source of sulforaphane. How much sulforaphane is in broccoli will depend on how it is prepared. For example, steaming is better than boiling. In fact, you can maximize sulforaphane in broccoli when you simply eat it raw. In a 2008 article published in the Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry, participants had 10 times more sulforaphane in their blood when they ate raw broccoli versus cooked broccoli. Third on our list of top sulforaphane foods is cauliflower. It is nutrient-dense and a great source of sulforaphane. Added bonus, cauliflower can be used to replace high-starch vegetables like potatoes and rice. Adding or even replacing cauliflower in mashed potatoes is good. Also, cauliflower rice can be quite tasty. Number four on our list is kale, a highly nutritious vegetable that contains sulforaphane. A 2018 article suggested that 
Low temperature blanching of kale increases the sulforaphane concentration, likely through increased activation of myrosinase. Number five on our list is cabbage, another impressive nutritional powerhouse. While the concentration of sulforaphane is not nearly as high as in broccoli sprouts, cabbage is still a great source and has many other nutritional benefits. Clearly, it's a good idea to incorporate a wide range of plant foods into our diets, especially from the sulforaphane-rich family of cruciferous vegetables. The National Cancer Institute recommends five to nine servings of vegetables and fruits per day. The USDA recommends one and a half to two and a half cups of cruciferous vegetables per week to slow down aging and lower the risk of disease. I hope you found this video to be useful. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.